So, on I Choose You, each week we randomly select a new Pokemon to cook and eat. Uh, this week's uh, Pokemon is Fomantis. I don't want to go first, uh, so let's say Ian starts this week. This is what we're going to do. We got our Fomantis. We're going to do two things to him. One, I'm treating him like a pepper. Oh, okay. interesting. Oh, okay. 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 Skew a bunch of them. The last of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Put them over a, uh, you know, put them over a fire. Ooh. Perhaps it rotates. It's a rotisserie. Okay. okay, nice. So fire roasted rotisserie style until they're like nice and, you know, got got some nice char on them, nice color on them. And then you're going to uh, get like a huge glass jar and fill that with some brine, some you know, salt water, because we're going to ferment them. Oh. Mm. All, right. All right. So, uh stick them in there let them ferment for you know however many days you know and at that point you blend that shit mm. okay and you got a nice fermented hot sauce oh yeah oh okay all right oh and so i give to you the fomantis fermentisserie hot sauce yes <laughs> all right okay. there it is <laughs> all right all right <laughs> How spicy is it? It's not. It's not like blowing you out. <laughs> okay. I don't know um, if I would say. No. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of like uh, sucking you into blowing you out, it's, uh-huh. <laughs> it's it's you know um, it's more about it's more of like oh that's a really nice flavor you know like okay. you want to dip your yeah. chips in it you want to like put it on stuff as like an addition but you're not, okay you're not getting like just absolutely fucked yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay, so this is, is it's not a prank uh, food item. No, this is not a prank. Okay. It's not it's not a yeah. joke at all. I would like don't to wear, buy don't a bottle of hot sauce that says this is not a prank. The jokes stop it. here. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I do have one thing, which is that you mentioned at the very beginning that you this recipe is quote unquote Vlasic. Yeah, so I'm Frank Vlasic, the founder of uh, Vlasic Pickles. Um, did find this on the Wikipedia page that I thought you guys would like. Mm. A childbearing stork was introduced as a mascot in 1974, merging the, the stork baby mythology with the notion that pregnant women have an ab- above average appetite for pickles. <laughs> okay. Okay. Flat, this is where pickles come from. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Vlasic marketed themselves as, quote, the pickle pregnant women crave, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> After all, who's a better pickle expert? Question mark. What? <laughs> Good question. Who? Who? <laughs> the the modern Vlasic stork speaks in a style reminiscent of Groucho Marx and holds a pickle like a cigar. <laughs> Never thought about it that way, but you're right. Has has Vlasic ever ventured into hot sauce or other things than than your classic pickle? We've got six products for you to choose from. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. Pickles. Okay. Purely pickles. What the fuck is the difference? What, pure the difference? pickle? Is that like the pure LaCroix of pickles? <laughs> yeah, it's just a cucumber. <laughs> yeah, it's not vinegary at all. Well, uh, as you see, pickles, uh, whether you like them sweet or dill, big or small, whole or sliced, we have the pickle for you. But then purely pickles, bring the deli to your home. Slightly sweet or a little salty. So I think they're less like, it's for the purest. Okay, oh, sure. Okay. What, what Interesting. Uh, and then we have snackums. <laughs> oh yes, I love the snackums. Okay. Yep, which are um, small. Uh huh. We love those. We do have peppers. Okay. Oh, there are peppers. Okay. Uh, relish, of course. Ah. And then uh, sauerkraut. Yeah, I'm gonna st- I'm gonna stick with you know uh, fuck Michigan. I'm gonna stick with Colorado pickle. Sorry, Vlasic. Whoa. Well, hold on a second because <laughs> I think we're onto something here. Uh, the stork says. There's a, the, the stork is on the website and he's got a little okay. like speech bubble and it says, Vlasic is the best tasting pickle I've ever heard. Is it because oh, loud or like squeaky? Because pickles are loud. You crunch they them. are loud. They are loud. loud. That's part of the marketing campaign. He would be like, they're Vlasic and then crunch on them. Yeah. yeah. We need like a, a top 10 board of top 10 loudest foods that we keep mm-hmm. a tally of the entire season. Right. Popcorn. Yes. Popcorn, loud food. <laughs> loud food. Yeah. 
We will open a restaurant of loud foods. It's called Giving You Oral, A U R A L. Oh, yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and each course eat the foods progressively get louder as you as you eat as you eat them. Mm. And they are on a scale from suck you off to blow you out. Blow you out. <laughs> yes. 